Hi again, Randy the Mobile Home Guy here. Today we're going to go over a little bit of the things that are involved in replacing a shower or replacing a faucet for a mobile home. Um, so first thing we've done, we've turned the water off. And so what we want to do is we want to get a little bit of water out of the pipe, a little pressure. So what we do is we turn the water off and then we come inside here and we just turn this on, get a little bit of water, make sure the water's off. And then it'll get a little bit of water out of the line, so then when we get behind the faucet, we won't have to get a lot of water all over the place. So, um, again, on this, turn the water off. So, we can't really get in this way at all to get the faucet out. We have to go around behind the faucet, directly behind it, and disconnect it from that way, okay? So, we'll look at that next. Here we are behind the, the wall of the faucet in the other room. So, we've had to remove this panel. We have to take it off of here. Um, they don't usually make an access panel here, but sometimes you can cut a straight line here and just remove from there down, or those kinds of things. But either way, it happens we have to get inside of this wall. So we can see, here's the fittings that we're looking for. So this is the back side of the faucet. And these are swivel fittings most of the time, so that means this is just going to turn off. And a lot of times they're just hand tight. So I want to be real careful turning these off. So we're just going to take all of these off. This is the one for the cold side here. We're going to set it over to the side just a little bit, and then this is the one to go up to the shower arm here. Okay, and then here's the one for the hot. That one's a little rougher. There we go. Most of the time, these will be swivel fitting, so they'll just be really good. So if you kind of relieve the pressure on the on the elbow a little bit just don't pull just a little bit of pressure off of it, it turns a little easier we can take that off there and then see we've taken those off and there's going to be two little nuts on there sometimes they put a nut on this one here but not all the time so these just screw off most of the time just screw right off like that one this one's going to be a pain for today it looks like on the hot side. So we're going to try and get a wrench on that and get that off. Okay, so we have gotten a wrench on this and gotten this little nut right here loose. If you can see it's this nut right here. This is what we're trying to get off, this little black ring right here. We're going to pull the faucet in a little bit. We've loosened it up. We're going to get it off there. So it just comes right off. Finally comes off and then we can see we can kind of be careful and there's someone on the other end to catch that, that's great. Um, one of the main things on the faucets, there's two different types of faucets. We're going to look at this here in a while, but this is straight across, straight across. There is a type of faucet that looks just like this, where this here is about a half inch and a half down from that. So it goes in a V shape. That's the more utopia faucet. This one is the straight back utopia faucet, eight inch on center. Okay, so we got the faucet out. Okay, now we're going to look at the back of some of these faucets. It looks like we talked earlier about it. See this one here, which looks kind of like this in the front, it has a straight back. And the one that looks exactly the same has a back that is dipped a little bit. So, in order to get the right replacement, you will need to check the back of your, um, the back of your wall to see which one that is. Okay? So we're going to go about installing the new faucet. Okay, so now we've got the faucet on, the new faucet on, and it's really important that when you put these back on, that we don't just kind of throw them on there kind of sideways. I know you probably can't see that real well, so you can't just throw it on there just sideways, okay? We want to make sure that this is perfectly on straight, okay? We're looking because inside of this little piece here, inside of that little swivel, there's a little gasket in there. Probably hard to see there, but see there's a little gasket in there. And sometimes if that gets pushed in a little bit too much on one end, it'll make a little bubble and it'll leak, okay? So what we need to do is we need to make sure to kind of push it straight on back like it was and to screw it on really straight, okay? And again, we don't want to get really tight on these. These were hand tight before. I like to do a quarter turn with a wrench past hand tight, which we'll do here in a moment. But again, there we're that. And then we just need to make sure we're not pulling too much on the pipe down here. We're kind of getting straight on. See, again, we're straight in. 
and then we're twisting, okay? And that should keep you from having that problem. Sometimes that little seal inside of there is broken or kind of cracked, and when you pull it off, it, that's just the death of that fitting, so you'll need to put on a new fitting. So um, that's just sometime you're gonna wanna buy some, you have these on hand sometime. And this is a push fitting, so you just cut this here, and you push this new one on, and then you would push it onto there sometimes. If you have a little bit of give in the pipe, you might have to uh, extend that a little bit, but if you have a little give, you can just take a little bit more and give that way, so. Okay, so we'll put this last, uh, last one on here, the shower arm. And we'll get a wrench and we'll cinch these down. Also, I like to caulk the top and sides of the faucet. Don't ever try to caulk the bottom of the faucet. If water does get behind the wall, you'd like it to be able to drip out from underneath the faucet. And the theory is that water's not going to kind of come up from that. So.